Hi, I'm Roxanne. Today I want to talk about meditation and my own personal story, how I got started and what it's done for me. And I think that it's an important topic in today's world where we are um, stressed out from doing too much. And meditation is a really good way for each of us to take the responsibility to heal ourselves, to calm our mind, to strengthen our body, to heal and traverse these unusual, unprecedented times that we're living in. So I started to meditate um, last year regularly, actually daily and sometimes twice a day when I decided to become certified as a Chopra meditation instructor. And I have graduated. Here's my certificate. Mm -hmm. See that? So I'm feeling a little more able to speak about it because um, of the certification and the results of having practiced on my own have been astounding because I am now devoted ever more, ever, ever more, because ever more, I'm more devoted than ever before because of the results from having meditated just 20 minutes a day. If you've never meditated before, there's two things you need, and that is one, to sit down, and two, to close your eyes. Now, if you're an adult and you sit down like this crisscross, crisscross applesauce, as the kids say, uh, you probably tend to have one leg always going the same way, always. So I recommend doing it the other way. This will help to balance the hip bones. And, you know, I've studied yoga my whole life, and I still, tended to have my right foot go in before my left, just naturally. Then I started to notice that that's what I always did. So since I've started meditating, I have the right go under and the left go on top. And at first it felt very unusual and out of balance and strained some new muscles, but it's compensated for the new positioning. And it doesn't feel uh, unusual anymore or out of balance and that's now what I go to automatically so that's what I would recommend if you are going to start to meditate is to do the opposite of what you habitually do when you sit down and cross your legs and don't worry if you're not doing full lotus with your tops of your feet on top of your thighs you know it's just a matter of sitting you could sit in a chair or on a couch as long as you're comfortable. It's a good idea to meditate in the same place every day. This will start to create something that will make your mind trigger, oh, I'm going into meditation now because this is where I do my meditation. And it will help you get into a deeper state of, of quiet. So, Sometimes I don't have 20 minutes, but I'll still meditate. Even five minutes is beneficial. So for those of you who think I don't have the time, maybe you could find just five minutes. That will still help you. And it'll feel so good. I guarantee that after you do five minutes on a regular basis, you'll want to go to 10 minutes. And before you know it, you'll be sitting for 20 minutes, easy. Sometimes my meditation goes longer to 30 minutes and it's really unusual that I'll, I'll sit there for 30 minutes and it won't even feel like 30 minutes has passed. It goes by so fast. I've heard a lot from many people. I've heard often that uh, they don't know how to meditate or they feel like they don't have the ability to meditate or they do it wrong or they don't know what they're doing. They don't know if they did it right. All of these kind of worries that pop up. So let me tell you that when you meditate, there is no wrong way to do it. When you shut your eyes and you're sitting and you have a lot of thoughts go through your mind, know that it is stress being released from your system. Isn't that a wonderful idea? Doesn't that make you think of these thoughts as a good thing? And even if you get caught up in one thought and you could be whole thinking only of that, you're still releasing the stress. Eventually you'll get to the end of the thought. And when you do, you'll remember, oh, I'm, I'm meditating. I need to be still. So you just start thinking about your breath. And you take a deep breath. 
deep breath with your eyes still closed. And then another thought will come up and then you'll know that it's just stress being released from your body. And you, you do this again and again and again. And after 20 minutes you realize, oh, I feel refreshed. And that is why, because you are releasing, you are releasing, you are releasing the stress. And this is a really amazing way to heal your body and to strengthen it. So I want to end with, I don't know what, I mean, this is a topic I want to continue discussing. There are too many benefits to meditation that I can add into this short video. However, I think it is so beneficial. I wish we would teach it to children in school and have it be part of every school's curriculum. So with that, I would like to say, if you have questions about meditation, please leave a comment and we can continue this conversation and trust me when I say you will benefit greatly from a meditation practice. Thanks for watching. Hi, today is a continuation from the video I made before about meditation for those people that are trying to find a way to start their meditation practice. I have some things that I want to let you know that might help you. And one of the things is, remember we talked about finding a space that you always use to meditate in. There's something known as neuroassociative conditioning. That is when the neural nets in your brain are conditioned by associating something with something else. So for example, you sit down in your meditation area and you light some incense, which I'll do right now. And this is a pine incense. I like pine. So let's say I'm going to meditate and I sit down in this spot and I always light the incense. The fragrance from this, I will start to associate with my meditation. Be sure to light the same incense in the same area, not all around your house, all right? This is a special scent. So for me, it would be the pine scent in my meditation area, and I would do it every time I meditate, and I would start to associate this smell with meditating, meaning that when I smell it, I will get into a state of stillness and silence more quickly because I am associating that scent with meditating. Uh, you could also use Sud smudge in a spray, you know the sage? Three, mm, that smells so good. Purifying, clearing of the energy. That scent can help you associate with meditation and get you into a deeper state more quickly. So that is one little thing that will help, hopefully. Have you been practicing? Have you started? Has anyone started to do a regular meditation? It's best to bookend your day with meditating. It's also best to meditate between uh, sunrise and sunset. So wherever you are, say five to 7 a.m. meditate and five to 7 p.m. meditate. You start your day by checking in with yourself before you check in with the world. And it helps you s uh, approach your day with, um, um, the word not with reacting but responding and in the evening between five and seven when you're meditating it's like you're you're washing off the stress of the day and you can enter into your evening activities more calmly and more refreshed when you meditate the the fluid in the brain flushes out I hope I'm right Correct me if I'm wrong. And this flushing of the brain is, is, is like a cleansing and it helps you, your, your brain become more alert and, and revitalized and you're able to go into the evening activities without carrying all the stress from the day. You've released it, you've let it go. When you release stress, you're not only becoming more fresh, but your 
not accumulating um, th the stress in areas of your body, like your shoulders, your neck, your lower back, your digestion. You're able to release that stress and therefore release the, 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 the stress that the body holds on to if you don't allow it to go. You need to work it out, let it go. It's not even work, it's just releasing, releasing the energy so that you can become more centered and able to react to your day in, and in, in, in a, from a more centered, calm place. Thank you for watching. <laughs> I hope this helps. <laughs> Getting a little, a little rusty. I feel like I'm just, you know, oiling the wheels here. To there's so much information, uh, and and I want to make it uh, comprehensive, and um, not overload you. And it's uh, different to actually say it. I've been reading about it and practicing it, but to say it, I feel like I'm just oiling the wheels here. So bear with me. Uh, I want to make more videos, and hopefully, I'll get a little more eloquent and smooth as I as I share this information with you. And if you're not a beginner at meditation, um, I, uh, kudos to you. I'm glad that you're, you're still meditating and uh, you can reap the benefits. Leave a comment. Tell everyone how great meditation is so that we can get these beginners to begin. <laughs> Namaste. Music is a topic when it comes to meditation. Some people think that it's okay to use med uh, music when they meditate because it relaxes them. But um, it's true. Music can be relaxing, but not during meditation because it's stimulating. It's stimulating the mind. You might be following the melody when you're listening to, to the music and that is keeping your mind active. The whole idea about meditation is to quiet the mind. It's advised not to listen to music when you meditate. It's okay to move when you meditate. Shift a little bit, scratch your nose. As long as you're comfortable and the more your mind quiets down, the more the body will quiet down. For a beginner, focusing on your in-breath and your out-breath is a wonderful way to start. If you notice that your mind is drifting away as you're meditating, it's easy enough to come right back to your breath. Gently come back to focusing on your in-breath and your out-breath. Inevitably, more thoughts will arise. That's all right. Bring your mind back to focusing on your in-breath and out-breath. When you start to practice meditation for the same amount of time, every time you meditate, physiologically, your body will know when that time is up. And you won't need a timer if you begin it's common to use a timer to know when your meditation is over. For example, if you're going to use your, the timer on your phone, um, that's, that's easy, but set it to the chime so it's gentle. It's a gentle sound to bring you out of meditation. There are also meditation apps you could use that have timers. After a while, you will not need the timer because like I said, physiologically, your body will just know that your meditation is done and you will come out of it naturally and gently. We could try a little meditation right now. So hopefully you're seated comfortably. Remember, there's only two things you need to do is to sit down and close your eyes. So if you are comfortable sitting, now close your eyes. Place the tops of your hands on the tops of your thighs. Take one deep inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Let's focus on our heart center as we breathe in deeply. Hold it at the top and exhale slowly. Breathe in deeply through your nose, hold it at the top and exhale slowly. Breathe in deeply, hold it at the top and exhale slowly through the nose. Do this for a moment or two longer. Breathe in deeply, hold it at the top, 
and exhale slowly through the nose. Do this on your own a few more rounds. bring your attention to your heart center again. Let's set an intention to meditate regularly. Let's wiggle our toes and wiggle our fingers. Take one more deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth and open your eyes gently. How was that? Was it easy? Do you feel more calm? I think the answers to those questions are both yes, hopefully both yes. Thank you for joining me. I'll be posting more and helping you meditate. Namaste.